Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Monday. And it is a belter of a day out here. What a absolutely gorgeous day. The bay out here is like a mill pond. And as you can see out onto the um, horizon, um, it is just gorgeous. Um, it's one of those days out of the box. <clears throat> you see the trawlers just sitting just out there. Looks like they're just sitting on a sea of glass. It really is a magnificent day down here in, in the Redcliffe um, Bay. And it's a, it's a cracker. <coughs> so um, what are we going to talk about this morning? Well, we're going to continue the theme of the, the miracles of um, Jesus and just looking at um, some of the, well, I don't know, it's not particularly a bizarre one, but um, it seems to come a little bit from left field, I, I guess you could probably put it that way, where um, Jesus has just come down from the Mount of Transfiguration, as we call it. You know, he's gone up there with uh, Peter and uh, James and John, and he's, to them, um, flashed, shown um, his, his true identity. Um, it's uncontained, and it's him in his, his fullness and his glory. And then it says he meets a, a crowd at the bottom of the... Um, the mountain, and this is from Matthew chapter 17, <clears throat> and, he, and he meets a crowd at the bottom, um, there's some dialogue, and then as the day um, unfolds, uh, someone comes to Peter and says, does your master uh, not pay the temple tax? Haven't you paid your taxes? Uh, so there's an obligation for every, um, every male Jew to, to pay contribution uh, to, to to the tax, um, and remember, this is Herod's temple, um, and he he had put the tax on them. It wasn't it wasn't um, stipulated. It wasn't um, mandated under Jewish, pardon me, law, um, but it was a, a tax introduced by Herod just to make himself a bit richer, I guess. And so Peter is uh, confronted with this question, and <clears throat> he doesn't know how to answer it. <laughs> um, and he's like, well, you know, um, so he goes to Jesus. And, you know, it's like, Jesus, you know, they're, they're asking, um, are we paying our taxes? You know, do we, do we, do we care about the temple? Um, are, we doing, are we doing the right thing here? And uh, Jesus, and this is why I know God has a, a sense of humour. Because Jesus' response seems to be right out of left field and his solution to the problem um, is by far one of the, the funniest, but um, I guess convoluted ways to go about something. And so in the, in the discourse, he asks Peter this question. Uh, what, do you, uh, but what do you think, Peter? Do kings take their own tax their own people or the people they have conquered? This is a good question. Because why is Herod taxing the people? Well, they're under Roman occupation and he's a puppet of the Romans. Well, they tax the people they've conquered, says Peter. Hmm. Well then, said Jesus, the citizens are free. However, we don't want to offend them. So go down to the lake, throw in a line, Open the mouth of the first fish you catch, and you will find a large silver coin. Take it and pay the tax for both of us. <laughs> on, this, on the surface, to me, that seems like the strangest way to go about paying your taxes. <clears throat> but what I, I see in this is <clears throat> Peter's willingness to help Jesus in by first going to him and acknowledging we've got a bit of a problem and I don't know how to solve it. What do you think we should do, Jesus? Should we, should we pay this tax? <clears throat> Jesus' answer infers that no, they don't have to. They're citizens of their own country. They really don't have to, but they don't want to offend anybody. So they'll pay it. But they're not going to pay it any normal way. And so he 
introduces and invites Peter into this miracle by sending him off to do what Peter actually knows that he can do well, which is to fish. After all, where he came from, from the boats, from off the water, and Jesus sends him back to the water, sends him down with the, the skill set that he knows to go and solve the problem. Now, I can't imagine what was going through Peter's mind. I mean, the first instance, you know, go, go and catch a fish. Well, I know about fishing, Jesus, and, you know, one fish isn't going to pay the bills, but, um, okay, whatever. Jesus says, the very first fish you catch, the very first fish you catch, open its mouth and inside you'll find enough money, a coin large enough, made in silver, to completely pay the taxes for both Peter and himself. What I get from this is, at times Jesus wants to, or invites us to be a part of his miracles. He invites us to be the hands and the feet that participate in those miracles. You know, you and I may be short, completely short of resources, completely beyond um, any idea on how to go about something. We need to copy Peter and go and ask Jesus and ask him, what do you want me to do about it? And then sometimes to expect the unexpected Jesus may not answer and give you the solution to the problem the way you, you expect it to happen, but he will give you the answer and the solution to the problem. And then don't be scared to step out, even, even if that solution seems weird, don't be scared to step out and step into that solution. And I think in this day and age with more and more people wanting more and more answers, and particularly in a world that doesn't hold the Bible as truth. God is going to use different circumstances, solutions and ways for people to be able to come to him. And you and I need to be prepared to be sometimes in the strangest solutions or situations to be able to see that come to fruition. That's my encouragement for you today. Look for God in the unusual because God is not just the God of the ordinary but sometimes he's the God of the unusual and sometimes the things we can't explain. And if you can, go fishing. Who knows what you might find. Let's pray. Father, I want to thank you today, Lord, for this beautiful day. What a beautiful day, Lord. I just pray that in it, Lord, we, we see and feel and sense and get to know you. And Lord, if we are called to be a part of a miracle today, help us to step into that situation, no matter how bizarre it may seem. Help us to be ready, Lord, and help us to be blessed by what we find in, around, and through you, Lord. And when we find those things, may we bless others with them, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. One more view of how beautiful it is here, my friends. I've just wandered around to the, the fort uh, at basketball courts. It is really, it's a great day. Do yourself a favour, just get out and, and get a chance to have a look at this. Till we see each other tomorrow, take care, God bless, and I will see you soon.